everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. It's your girl, Crystal, and we're in the kitchen, so you already know that means it's time for another cooking video, a cooking with Crystal. Like always, step one, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up on all these amazing dishes I'm whipping up for y'all, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do when we're making this buttermilk fried chicken is we're going to score it. I have thighs and um, what do you call that? Legs because leg quarters was on sale. So I just bought those and then I um, cut them up. So that's what I did with it. So I said score it, but I'm not gonna lie y'all. My knives are a little duller <laughs> than I would like. So I'm actually just poking the holes kind of in the chicken. Not all the way through, so I can still get that idea of scoring, I guess you could say. Um, and not too many. Okay, like that. So, you know. I did two to three on each chicken. Um, and then I'm gonna put my chicken into the bowl that I have right here, like so. And I wash my chicken, make sure that you wash your chicken, that's important. And I'm gonna start adding in these delicious seasonings. All right, and once you put your chicken in the bowl, start adding your delicious seasonings. I'm gonna be starting with some chili powder. Sprinkle that all over. Garlic powder. Poultry seasoning. Pink Himalayan sea salt, black pepper, Old Bay and onion powder. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna mix it up so that it gets all over the chicken. We're going to get our buttermilk and we are going to cover the chicken with the buttermilk. I'm not doing a measurement for this because you just wanna make sure, based on how much chicken you're cooking, you do enough to make sure it's nice and well covered and coated, okay? Add some dill, and I'm gonna just throw this fresh dill on top. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to cover this bowl up and we're going to put it into the refrigerator for one to five hours, okay? Um, if you could do 24 hours, maybe if you're making this ahead of time, then you could do 24 hours. I'm making this chicken for tonight, so I'm only gonna do one to five hours, okay? So I'm gonna cover this with some saran wrap. Okay, everyone, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make our little dredge. So you wanna start with two cups of flour. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of Tony Satri, a tablespoon of sea salt, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of sage. Now once I have that all together, I'm going to mix it up. I already have my egg wash here. It consists of three eggs and about mm, a quarter of a cup of water. Alrighty, so now I'm going to get my chicken that I just took out of the fridge. I'm going to take it from the soaking buttermilk into the flour, cover it, dredge it, and then I'm gonna go from the flour mixture into the egg wash mixture, and then from the egg wash mixture 
back once more into the flour mixture. And then from the flour mixture, it will go into the oil. So you can go ahead and you can dredge all of your chicken pieces so that they can get ready to go into the oil. Alrighty, and the last step is gonna be to fry our chicken. You wanna fry it for eight to 10 minutes. Making sure that you leave plenty of room in the pot. And you're gonna be frying it on 325 degrees. Alrighty, so now we're gonna move on to our waffle making situation. I'm not gonna do anything too special with the waffles. I'm actually using an Aunt Jemima mix as my base. What you see here is actually a cup of Aunt Jemima's pancake and waffle mix. The buttermilk one. Yes, Mr. Hanson? Okay, hold on. Okay, so add one fourth cup of additional buttermilk, one egg. A tablespoon of melted butter and you are going to give that a nice stir. If there are lumps in your batter like I have in mine, that's totally fine. It's gonna make sure it's fluffy. After you spray your waffle iron with Pam, go ahead and pour on your waffle mix. Make sure it's spreading out nice and well. And then close your waffle iron. Okay, everybody, now that our waffles and our chicken are done, it's to the finishing steps. If you know me, you already know I'm putting honey sriracha on this. Oh, it's gonna make my chicken pop even more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drizzle my waffles with some warm syrup. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. And that's pretty much all it is to it, you guys. Chicken and waffles made easy because who's trying to cook and it'd be so hard? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you wanna know more about my honey sriracha ratios, check out my honey sriracha rib video. Yes, I be putting honey sriracha on everything. But again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and get down with your girl. Get down one time for the get down, but no funny business. Y'all already know I'm happily married with two children. And don't forget, don't keep up with the Joneses.